Hello and welcome to another Doctor's Assistant 1 video and today I'm taking a look at the um, Deadpool figure, the Marvel Select Deadpool figure. Now there are two main reasons why I haven't reviewed this for so long um, and that because I have been wanting to review it for quite some time. Um, I got this on not last Christmas but the Christmas before then and um, before that which is the 2014 Christmas so yeah it's definitely been a figure that I've been wanting to review for ages but the problem is that it's such a daunting figure to review because for example it's not like it's that easy to review you know it's not in like sort of as small as say a five inch figure uh, and that and just for a comparison Rose is about a little bit above his uh, Deadpool's crotch or up to his belt I would say or even maybe just a little bit to that first uh, sort of sideways strap sort of thing um, and that uh, for comparison for height reasons anyway so he is very big of a figure to review so from my perspective it's very daunting as the reviewer also um, another thing me being the idiot that I, I, I am I accidentally got rid of all the accessories and put them away and then decided that I wanted to review this figure anyway without further ado I'll get into the review um, First of all, we have two of these, which are weapons. I don't really get what type of weapons, but he has two of them, uh, and that, which is nice. Uh, he also has a big, huge machine gun, which, if you're a long-time subscriber to my channel, you will know that this was the uh, machine gun that the Dark Doctor used to destroy the uh, Kraken, also known as the Drashig, in that story. Um, very flat and very just plain looking uh, I mean there's only like sort of it's all very silver like and with a bit of wa uh, a wash but this is the only bit that's really raised and and that 3d ish um you've also got this flat bit yeah the rest's just really flat and stuff so you've got two accessories there you've also got as I say the um the second one of these um, he also comes with two pistols that are in his uh, holsters, which uh, fit nicely. Well, one of them does. For me, one of the other ones is very loose. Um, I did watch um, someone else's review of this figure, and uh, they were able to get um, the knives out from here, and the other one from up there, which I can't seem to do on mine, which is very annoying, to say the least. He also comes with two katana blades, very nice, very long um, uh, blades, which, as I say, also have holsters at the back, which I'll show you in a minute. And another one. And then uh, the pistols, which I'll just try and get out of his holsters in a minute. Also, <laughs> it also comes with this really nice base plate. Uh, which is very detailed, you know, you've got all these bullets and uh, stuff like that. You've got all these bullets and raised up bits and, and all these, like, hole marks in this wall, which you can't really see because of the lighting in here. But, yeah, uh, you also get that uh, base plate, which is really good, very nicely detailed. It does come with one little peg hole, which is a bit annoying. I, I think it would have been better if it came with two, seeing as he does have two holes at the bottom of his feet. As you can see, the, those are the two pistols, which I can't get out of his holster, which is a bit annoying, really. Oh, that one's a bit looser than the other one. Um, Articulation-wise, he comes with a lot of articulation, you know. Um, head goes up and down and swivels full 360. Oh, well, it can't do a full 360 because of that, actually. Just real heist. Um, but yeah, his arms are ball jointed, so they can go out to the side uh, and do full 360 as well. Uh, they can do that. I don't think there's any hand articulation. There might be actually. Yeah, there is actually hand articulation, but it's rather limited considering that his hand is sculpted in a way to hold some, uh, well, the plethora of accessories he does have. Um, his knees can go in at the knee joint and stuff and swivel and do all that goodness. Um, his feet are on a ball joint so they are able to do uh, certain stuff and that. Um, generally though he just is a phenomenal figure. He is very detailed um, and generally just looks awesome really. You know you've got all this sort of muscle and like he, he looks like he's a very ripped uh, action figure which you know 
if you get it, you'll know what I mean by that. Um, and as I say, you've got all these like pouches, and you've got all these like as I say muscles, and all the paint works very nice. And as I say, you've got these two bits where you can put the uh, katana blades in. You've got the rest of the like ammo pouches, or what I imagine to be ammo pouches, on the back. Um, and there, you've even got more on his leg. Uh, and you've got, as I say, a knife there and a, and a knife there, which, as I say, I can't seem to get those out, but I have watched another reviewer who reviewed this figure um, who was able to get both the knives out. So, yeah, um, a very, very well-rounded figure. Very good, very articulated, even though I haven't represented it very well um, and that. But, um, yeah, it's very big, as I say in comparison to say a 5 inch figure so if you're used to just buying 5 inch figures it will be huge and then you know I, I don't have a 3.75 inch figure to compare but you know it'll literally be like the 3.75 inch one will be there there and then there you know really huge so you know if you're used to yeah buying these ones these type of scale figures you're in for a shock because this one is huge <laughs> and, and that even though saying that then there's like hot toys and um you know big chief studio like figures uh which are even bigger obviously and that um yeah it's just a really nice well-rounded figure i think he comes with so many accessories you know he comes with a plethora of accessories you know god knows how many accessories he comes with two katana swords Two katana blades, um, one massive machine gun, two of these things, and as I say, two pistols. As I say, two pistols there and there. Um, you know, it's just a well rounded figure. He's just so detailed and he's so you know, well-rounded and just looks like Deadpool, you know, it's got all the black paint where the black needs to be, it's got the red where the red needs to be, and it's this sort of darkish red as well, like it's not too sort of uh, bright red or anything as well, which is good. Um, all in all, a must-have for any fan of Deadpool, you know, you get a butt-ton of accessories, you get a plethora of accessories, more than enough. Um, you get this awesome uh, base plate, which you know, as a as a person who's mainly used to collecting Doctor Who figures, um, this is just like a big rarity to get a massive base plate. Um, I mean, I think I got one with like um, the da 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 the da 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 Walking Dead one, uh, Michonne's pet zombie. But this is just so detailed. You know, you've got as I said before, like loads of um, uh, bullet bullet shells and just little debris you know little bits of rock and as I say on the wall there are like loads of little um like holes in there like it's been you know that wall's been shot like like loads of people have shot the wall or someone in front of the wall i.e. Deadpool <laughs> um, and that and it's just a must have as I say for any big avid fan of Deadpool because you know it just represents him very well so yeah thanks for watching uh, comment, rate, and subscribe, and please do tell me what you think about this figure, if you have this figure. Um, I would give this figure a well-earned 8 out of 10. No, 10 out of 10. You know, it's a 10 out of 10. It's phenomenal. I mean, it does retail for 20 quid, so if you are um, maybe, you know, in the age rate of uh, age um, group of, say, I don't know, like 10, 12, 13-ish, um, it might be a bit too uh, much out of your price range, but... If you serve up and that, and you're definitely sure you're a big fan of Deadpool, I don't see why you wouldn't be able to get this one, because it is a phenomenal figure. Easily a 10 out of 10. Uh, one of the best figures I've ha I've got, you know, ever, really. Um, so yeah, thanks for watching, comment, rate, and subscribe.